This message is for the group of people who have been in preparation for many years. You know that God has been preparing you for such a time like this. You know that God has gifted you with a great influence. God has called you to inspire other people and to be one of his messengers, his leaders, motivational speakers, whatever it is your assignment is, you know that God has ordained you and called you. You have many gifts and talents, but they have been hidden for many years while you and God have this one-on-one. -on -one. You are like a Moses in this time because you're getting ready to lead this group of people out of Egypt. These people who need to hear what you have to say. And so for many years, you've been waiting for this moment and now you are finally entering into your harvest. On this journey of coming into your harvest and coming into your blessing, seeing things manifest in your life, seeing things come to pass in your life that God has spoken over your life, these things are coming. And also on this journey, you're now getting ready to go from behind the scenes to on stage. So that means you're getting ready to be in a spotlight where more people are going to see you. God is going to reveal you to more people. So with that being said, not only are the people coming that you inspire, they're going to be the troublemakers that come. So when the troublemakers that come in the crowd, continue to keep listen keep your ears to God and and turn away from that chatter in the crowd because many people are going to come and be naysayers to try to challenge you but just remember when God calls you forth can't nobody call you back come on now when God ordained you can't nobody send you back because you have reached that hour God said I've been saving you for such a time as this keep your ears to God and turn turn off that chatter and like I mentioned before, you are like a Moses in this season. Just like when Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt. And what they do complain the whole time. So the journey took longer. So just keep in mind that keep your mind focused on the people that want the help and that need the help. Don't worry about the other people that cause, that come in and try to cause trouble. And what the mission that God has called you to. Because remember, they don't know nothing about you. They don't know exactly where you come from. They ain't never seen you before. God is doing a new thing. So right now you are that new thing that God is putting into place and people can't figure you out. God is doing something fresh. He say, I'm raising up a new generation. Come on now. They don't know which way God is going to go with this thing. So you always keep your ears to God. God is the one that lead us and direct us in this season. Turn your ears away from that chatter in the crowd. That's all they are, troublemakers. Stay inspired to lead. And I also want to leave you with this before I go. You don't have to worry about defending yourself in this season. Come on now. Because God sees everything and everybody. And anybody that get in your way, they're really getting in God's way and what he's trying to do. So you don't have to worry about defending yourself. Don't spend many times making videos back to people who put comments on your video. Don't worry about them. Because what God is doing in your life is way greater than what they're talking about. Come on now. God say, I will defend you because I sent you. Come on. God will defend you in this season. He's been defending you the whole time, even when they don't understand you. God say, don't worry about that. I will defend you. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Come on now. You just do the work that God has uh, put you out here to do. God will defend you because he sent you. Don't let nobody stand in your way. It is your hour. You are here. Continue to lead and inspire.